All right, today's pile is too big to set up here in this small spot. If you want to see what Timu Claus brought to us today, stick around. Okay, I know Christmas is coming early uh, because Timu uh, Claus happened to come by. So uh, I figured we'd go ahead and do another mailbags everywhere. So um, I, I, I know a couple of things that were supposed to come in and I, I don't know. I think stuff come in that I wasn't expected. So I don't really know what all this is. So we're gonna take a look at it and we're gonna see what we got. So this. And let's get this one open. Gonna have to replace this this blade here soon. That and that is all that's in there. So what do we have here? It's very light. Ah, the ODB sense, uh, ODB two sensor. Uh, so what is this? I don't know. It does plug into an ODP2 sensor. Now, I've been doing some work on this blue driver, and I bought this like seven or eight years ago. It cost like $100. I know, I think I had gotten two of these coming. Uh, let's see what the little instruction booklet says. We don't need instructions, by the way, but we're gonna try to figure out exactly what this is. All I know is it's an ODP2. It is an ODB2 IMMO deactivator and activator. So anyway, uh, ODB2 drive box EDC15 ME7 ODB2 IMMO activator deactivator on off. Okay, so we got this one. Um, doesn't really say anything on it. Don't know what this is. So let's get this one open. Ah ha ha, yes, I do remember this one. Okay, so this is more multimeter leads, which I have cut the bag open. And to be honest with you, I actually got this for these. Because, and it looks like those are a pretty good size. I don't know how well they're going to work on a lot of the different contacts and places here, there, and yonder. Get this string out of the way. Uh, these are always come in handy, little, uh, little clamps to go on, uh, component leads and whatnot. So that's nice. Uh, little small alligator clips, which these, you know, I mean, they're not, they're not high end by any means. Uh, but a lot of times you just need to clamp onto something and that, that's, I mean, it's, no more than it's going to be used. It'll probably last forever. But it does feel like it's got a pretty good bit of uh, springiness to it. So I think it's a pretty decent little clamp. And then these. Let's see here. This kind of reminds me of a, a silicone scope clamp. So, oh, okay. So I know what the deal is. So uh, you'll have this in here. You can open this up. Put your wire in here and push this probe into that wire, making a contact into the wire itself. Uh, this is kind of nice, uh, separate uh, separate uh, probes, 10 amp probes with extra tips. That's good, that's nice. You got sharp pointed tips and you got uh, tips that'll actually go into uh, uh, banana plugs. But this also comes with a set of really sharp probes like you can see right there that that's a pretty sharp probe in and of itself so that would kind of be that that would serve multi-purposes especially if you're checking um connectors or anything on a computer or any kind of a device you can easily get up in there as well it's it's with a probe like that right there it's easy to get up into a small plug and make contact to try to check continuity or something such as that so that's a nice little feature i like that as well but i would probably wind up leaving these on there because a lot of times I'm doing tests 
uh, and, and I want to monitor my power supply or something of that nature. And so those banana plug connectors would be what I would end up using. And then, of course, you got the meter leads themselves. And I, lo I love meter leads having the 90 degree like that because you don't have them stuck so far out into your workspace while you're doing something. See, it's got shields, and they're kind of made up like uh, high amperage uh, connectors, but I doubt these are. Uh, I wouldn't think that they are. And let's see, that doesn't come off, so they don't go through. So anyway, uh, that's a pretty pretty decent set of uh, meter leads. I've got some other uh, sets that I had gotten over the uh, years from different places, and they all got little pluses and minuses uh, built into these uh, kits. But you really can't have too many, I don't think, because uh, it it's always comes in handy. Uh, I took a set of these apart and actually put a really nice set of ends on them because I like these to be able to tie into some type of a circuit or something because I want to uh, either maybe inject power into that somehow or another using my, my power supply or uh, I want to, to do a test with my oscilloscope uh, um, or my meter. I want to monitor how a component is, is uh, reacting to voltage, uh, just whatever. I mean, it comes in handy because those little clips hold on good. And these are kind of cheap made, so they last as long as they last, but it's good to have multiples in place that you can replace them whenever they do go bad. Okay. Here we go. Here's the next one. Let's see what we got. Oh wow! Ooh ah! We have another another soldering iron. Yeah. So we got these coming out of our ears now. This one doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a uh, display on it. It's just got a set of numbers, which I guess would be one, two, and three preset. Uh, assuming. Let's, okay, so here we go. First gear. I don't, I don't know what the gear thing means in China, but it means something apparently. Is 300 to 330, second gear, 340 to 370, and third gear is 380 to 400. Anyway, uh, just a quick note. Uh, I, I would appreciate it if you find this kind of content interesting or supportive. It would be very, very helpful to the channel if you would like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you're questioning about something that we can come back through and clarify. Um, it just helps the channel out tremendously. So let's go to the next one. All right, here we got another big box. I don't really know what this is either, but I'll probably remember it when I get it open. Wait a minute, I think I remember what this is. I think it's the other RFID um writer programmer reader programmer uh yeah it is you've got the device itself let's get this out. uh see what we got here uh and the point of what this right here is going to be on these two devices is to kind of see how easy it is to, if if you can go over there and read, you know, somebody's credit card or debit card or, or driver's license or just whatever. Try to see how uh, how that if we can actually take this that you can buy off Timu really cheap and get a hold of somebody's driver's license and scan it and get information or a smart credit card and get information that you can hack into it. This, of course, obviously is a ring light. Uh, well, I'm not going to open it up, uh, and I, I mean, I doubt you want an inter a, a review on a 10-inch ring light. Uh, but hopefully, this will provide a little more lighting on this whole setup that maybe you can see a little bit better. Okay, and so we got another wireless microphone. Uh, I think I had mentioned to you that I had a set that kind of went bust. It, it came in. Uh, uh, no good. So, uh, and I've got another super cheap one that's like pennies on the dollar. Um, the to that's a lapel mic, and this right here was like like practically nothing, uh, just a few dollars I think. This one right here is compatible with the iPhone, and I don't know what one or two means. One to two, so maybe it means it's there's just, there's two lapel mics in there. So this would be nice to be able to compare to the different lapel mics that I've got. And this is what I'm using right now. 
uh, the full Fulham, full aim, or however they intend that to be pronounced. Uh, another El Cheapo lapel mic. Next, and here is the other ODB2 diagnostic interface. This one, it is a ELM327. Da 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 iOS, Android, Windows. So let's open it up just real quick and kind of take a look at it. So I think I had gotten one that plugged it, it you, you plugged a USB cable into it and you could tie, hook it up to a laptop or something of that nature uh, as the interface and used it with specific software. Uh, and this one doesn't look like that one. But, so this right here is probably a Bluetooth connection, kind of like the uh, blue driver that I'd showed you a moment ago. ODB2 interface supports all ODB2 protocols. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think what I did when the blue driver went bad is is I ordered this as a replacement so I could diagnose it because my truck's actually misfiring again and I need to kind of figure out what the problem is. Okay, here's a few uh, little uh, bits and bobs. <laughs> that we're gonna take a look at, not making fun of you guys over the pond. I just like that term, to be honest with you. These are ceramic tweezers, uh, which are really nice, especially if you're gonna be trying to remove a surface mount uh, component and you're blowing hot air on it. Uh, this right here will not transfer the heat back. And, and I think that, that was like 99 cents or something, I, I don't know. Uh, this right here I got uh, so that uh, some of the lapel mics, it's hard to get in with the case and with wherever that I've got my phone mounted. Uh, and so I can get this in there and then I can plug uh, the uh, three and a half millimeter connector into this with the base or the receiver of the lapel mic. And then I could also plug power in over here and keep my phone charged. And here's a quick little adapter for like a USB-C for the newer iPhones or the Android devices that you can also put the three and a half millimeter uh, barrel connector uh, in there. This was, I believe, a free item that it's one of those click now and get it. And so I did. Uh, don't have any idea if I'll ever have a use for it, but hey, uh, it's the opposite of these, so. I'm going to need it and I'm not going to have it. So now I'm going to have it and never need it. And then this is another variant of the other one that I showed you here. But only this right here is the USB-C connector instead of a lightning connector. And then you have a split setup to where you have where you can put power and charge the device at the same time that you're using this for your lapel mic or headphones or whatever. Alrighty, we've got the black bag what we got in the black bag oh well you hold on look at here look at here look at here so i did have one that was uh three of them together literally with this one it is it, it's maintained the other one's open and you got to close it uh to make contact this one is closed you open it and you put it on something and clamp i think these are going to come in handy all right let's see what we've got next I've wanted one of these for a long time. Uh, I've, I've used other programmers and stuff. Um, and you'll find yourself, you know, using programmers in certain situations with microcontrollers. Uh, and this one is just a really convenient one, I think, uh, because you have the USB interface to just plug it straight into the computer. You hook these up to the receive, transmit, whatever setup that you need, and this into the board, and then you can use this to actually flash or program chips on the on the boards, microcontrollers and stuff like that. This right here, I think you'll probably see in some future videos on some microcontroller stuff. All right, let's see the next one. Alrighty, here we go again. And got instructions. Okay, we have instructions. The product 
is used in conjunction with a 10 cc syringe awesome instructions i like those a few seconds and you know no more than what you did before but awesome that i seen this on a couple of channels and when i saw it for practically nothing again i decided that would be pretty neat to have this is for uh solder so like here so you've got some uh samson tacky paste uh, i've got tips that would go in here kind of like a syringe or hypodermic syringe and uh i mean i don't want to spend a ton of time on this because i'm trying to make my videos a little quicker uh let's see if this even fits oh yeah awesome it sure does uh, so i'm trying to make my videos quicker so uh they're not boring you. <laughs> so let's see, tighten this up. And this is probably the only review you're gonna see on this right here. And so you would, you would just hold this in your hand like this. And when you press down on this, it pushes the plunger in. Because usually your, your solder paste doesn't come with a plunger in the end of it. It's just a plug in the end of it. And last but not least, or maybe it is, I don't know what's in here. And I still don't know what's in here. And I still don't know what's... Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. Awesome. I'm glad to see this because this is a video that I'm working on. So I bought a Variac off of eBay. Real cheap. Matter of fact, it's it ended up being free because it I received it messed up. It was uh, damaged. And so I've been trying to repair it and the casing's messed up. And so that's going to be part of the video, trying to shape that back into uh, shape. And I was like, well, so in, if I got to rebuild the whole thing, then I might as well rebuild the whole thing and make it really, you know, really nice. So anyway, that's going to be an upcoming video. And I think that's going to be a pretty cool deal uh, if we manage to get all that to work and we get the, the very act working good. So... With that said, uh, that's the last item. So guys, um, I thank you for spending your precious time with me because I know that you made a choice to be here to watch this and I definitely appreciate that. So uh, I ask again, if you feel that this content is good, I would like for you to like and subscribe. It would be a tremendous help to the channel. Uh, I thank you for spending your time here and viewing this with me. And God bless.